is Webcats and my name is Peter Beaumont. In this episode we're going to be looking at the Olympus DS2 voice recorder and how you would use it to record your lectures. Now the DS2 comes with this black cover. It's got um, a little clip that you can use to perhaps clip it to a belt. But we'll take that off for now. We'll put it aside because it's going to be easier to look at the voice recorder if we take that off. To turn on the DS2 we want to go over to the right hand side and there's a little button that says hold and if you push that to the right the voice recorder turns on you can see the display the first thing you'll probably want to do is to check the battery on the display it's on the top left hand side you've got three little blocks and as the battery uh, is used up the power in the battery is used up they'll drop down to two blocks and then one you can see that there's no battery left just like a mobile phone if you want to change the battery, you're going to go over to the side and you push this little sliding thing in, put it back, and you've got two AAA batteries. Now there are inbuilt microphones on the DS2. If you look on the top, there's one for the left hand side and one on the right hand side. And to start recording, it's very easy. You just press the record button, which is on the right hand side of the voice recorder. You'll hear a little beep and it started recording, it'll start recording me talking and you can see as I talk a little bar goes across to show how loud I am once you've started recording to make sure it wasn't accidentally stopped, like to make sure nobody accidentally pressed the stop button you can go back to the hold button on the right hand side of the player and push it back to the hold position it'll remain, it'll still record but there'll be no chance of anybody pressing the stop button. For example, if it's in the lecturer's pocket, it won't accidentally get stopped. When it is time to stop recording, you can go back to the hold button, push it away from the hold position, and you can press the stop button. As you can see, when the record button is pressed, a red light at the top right-hand side of the voice recorder is turned on. And when I press stop, the light turns off. Using the voice recorder, you can record at different qualities of sound. The higher quality sound will record for about an hour. I would advise to record at high quality, which is the medium level of quality. This records in WMA format, which is Windows Media Audio. And this is probably easier for people to edit using free editing software if you are wanting to edit. You can change the quality of audio that's recorded by going to the buttons on the left hand side of the voice recorder. If you press the button that's labelled menu set, hold it down for about a second, it will take you to the menu and on record mode you can move up and down using these buttons on the side of the voice recorder to go up and down but you want to select rec mode which means record mode and press again and then you can use the up and down labelled buttons to swap between the different qualities and like I said before go for high quality which is HQ and press the menu set button again which is the second one from the top once you've chosen that you can press the stop button on the front of the voice recorder and that's selected the quality of audio and the file type that is going to be created. That's only really important if you're going to be taking it off this voice recorder and putting it onto a computer. Once you've created files and either listened to them or put them onto your computer to store them, you might want to delete them. Or if the voice recorder comes with some files already on it from the last person who used it, you might want to take them off so you've got more space. You can use the buttons on the left hand side again. Start off by pressing the orange button that above it is labelled Erase. Then you've got another menu here and you can press the down button, the third on the top, and that moves you down to Start. And then I will click on the menu set button and it erases that file. And you can do that one by one for each of the files on there. If you were recording a number of files, you might want to organise where they're stored in the folders and the Olympus DS2 comes with five folders already on it. To 
change the folders you want, you can look at, on the display and see where it says folder A. If I press the down button on the side, it moves to folder B. And I can go through folder C, D and E just by pressing the down button. Then press it again and I go back to folder A. So if I wanted to record um, uh, some audio in folder B, I can move it to folder B using the down button and then press record and it will automatically put my audio in that folder. So where do you want to position the microphone? My advice would be to put it at the front of the lecture theatre or classroom, pointing at the person who's speaking, uh, perhaps on the table. If they are going to be walking around a lot, it would be much better to use a clip mic if you've got one. Now, the jack from the clip mic fits into, if you look at the top of the voice recorder, the socket that's labelled mic. It just fits in there. And then the microphone end can clip to the speaker's clothes near, near their mouth. And then the voice recorder can either go in their pocket or you can use its little um, packet, which we saw before, which has got this clip and they could clip back to a belt or something like that. If you don't have a clip mic, you could ask the, the speaker to put it into the pocket. The sound quality won't be as good, but if you're just wanting to listen back yourself, it'll be good enough to hear what they're saying. Once you've made your recording, you can either listen to it back on the voice recorder, or you can put it onto your computer to store it and listen to it there. My advice would be to put it onto your computer, keep, keep a copy of it, because you don't want to fill up your voice recorder with um, lots of recordings. To listen to the track on the voice recorder, make sure you're in the correct folder, which we looked at before. If not, you've got that down button to search through them. It will tell you how many tracks are in that. You can use the fast forward and the rewind buttons to get to the right track if there's more than one in the folder. And when you've found the correct track, you can press play. And that will play it through the speaker on the back of the voice recorder. If you're in a public place, you might want to use the ear socket to plug earphones in, like you would with an MP3 player. If you want to adjust the volume of the voice recorder, on the left hand side, you have the vol plus minus button. Plus will make it louder, minus will make it quieter. When you're listening to a track, you can fast forward and rewind through it. So when it's playing, you can click on the fast forward button and keep your finger held on it. You'll keep hearing little bits of audio to show you where you are in the track. If it's a very long track, for example an hour, as you hold it down longer, gradually the speed of the fast forward will, will get faster and faster. And the same with the rewind. So that's a good way of finding your way through the track. I'm going to go over to my computer now. And we can have a look at how you can take your files off the voice recorder and put them onto the computer. Hi, I'm now at my computer. I'm, I'm going to connect my voice recorder to it and take the files off it and put it on the computer for storage. Firstly, I need to take the cradle that comes with the DS2 voice recorder and connect it to the USB port on my computer. Now, on modern computers there's USB ports at the front. With older computers you'll have to connect it at the back. And once you've connected it, you can turn your voice recorder on and put the voice recorder into the cradle might need to give it a firm push and you'll see this if you're using a Windows machine I'm going to choose to open the folder to view the files and you can see it's chosen the voice recorder as the E drive and you can see the five folders that we mentioned before A, B, C, D and D I recorded all my files in folder A so if I double click that I can see the four files and what I'm going to do is click on the top one with my left mouse button then hold down the shift key on my keyboard and click on the bottom one and that has selected all the files. I'm going to put mine on my desktop so I can either 
click with my left mouse button, keeping the left mouse button down, drag it onto the desktop. Or I could have used copy and paste in, in the edit menu. Copied them and then pasted them on the desktop or another folder I wanted to use. So if I minimize this window, we can see that the four files are there ready for editing or just on my computer to store them for future use.